Okay, 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 okay. What is up, guys? Okay, what's up guys? Um, I'm making you guys a video today explaining this very crucial situation that is currently happening. Not necessarily, I don't know. I'm going to work right now. I want to figure out the updates when I got there. Right? Right? So basically what happened, right? Long story short, this gay guy that used to work at my old job, not my old job, I still work there, but like, he used to work there, one of my jobs, right? Mm -hmm. He's claiming that he slept with another dude at the job and that they met on certain apps and whatever and all the case may be and all this shit, right? And uh, I wanna preface this by saying, uh, please people use your discretion when messy people come into situations like this because how can you believe somebody and they ain't bring no proof? Because the first thing I always say, pictures or didn't happen, evidence or didn't happen. And I'm sorry I'm like that, but it has to be, it is what it is. Cause a lot of people say a lot of outlandish things these days. And it's just so not fucking fair for the person a lot of times because they end up in a lot of shit. People run with a story and a lot of times it's not even fucking true. So I was at work the other day and I'm working a night shift. So I guess they was all chilling on the other side of the job, whatever. He, he pulled up. You know, with himself, you know, his little, his little sweet self, and uh, I don't know necessarily what was really going on. All I heard was one of my dumbass coworkers screaming. Right? He's screaming. He's like, "Oh my God, what the law? What the law?" Like he's screaming, bro, screaming. And I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, what the? Yo, what?" So uh, my nosy ass, I was like, "What's going on?" So like, I'm. You know, I kind of make my way over there. Like, what's really going on? Like, what's what's all the yelling for? Like, what? So he started talking about oh, like, um, the the gay guy that used to work there. He's talking about he slept with another coworker that works there, right? So I'm like, ah, oh, geez, here we go, here we go. And I'm like, and the crazy thing, this isn't the first time I've heard this, but from this. I, this this isn't the first time I heard this story because apparently he been saying this like way before. Now, personally, me I don't put shit past nobody, and especially when it like when it comes to men. A lot of men hide a lot of things. A lot of men are not truthful with with themselves. A lot of men don't always lay on don't don't always go to one way on the on the on the spectrum of sexuality. Some some y'all niggas in between. Or some of y'all little three one third of the way or, or three fourths. I don't know. I'm just saying. But um, but even if I didn't put it past anybody, I'm not gonna sit there and believe something that somebody's saying, especially when I know that they're messy. Like you can look at somebody and be like, that bitch messy. Like that's a whole <laughs> that bitch is a whole dumpster fire ready to explode. Like fuck out of here. You can look at somebody, you can tell when they're messy, you can look at their behavior, you can look at the people they hang out with and tell when somebody is a certain way, right? Because a lot of times, you are who you surround yourself with. A lot of times, not all the times, but sometimes if you surround yourself with the only specific type of people, you're probably just like them. So my whole thing was like, this man is sitting here coming up at this place he used to work at starting all this mess and i'm just like why in the world would you come in and start that you can't prove it you ain't got no screenshots you ain't got no pictures but you coming in here saying all this shit to what embarrass this guy to do what to be messy to make a joke out of it because honestly like i didn't think that shit was funny at all because number one you could have very well damn be fucking lying like like who's to say you're not lying how how can anybody really sit there and believe that but the craziest thing about this damn where we live in today people believe fucking anything anything oh my god i could post some shit on twitter and people will believe it i could go on facebook and give a whole damn fucking two paragraphs i can make a whole damn story time on youtube about some elaborate story and people would fucking believe it and it's just so crazy because a lot of people nowadays do not do their due diligence and investigate the 
things that people are telling them. They just take it for as face value. And that is just so, uh, it's very frustrating to deal with. Because honestly, like just listening to the whole story and I'm like really questioning the, um, cause I didn't really speak to the gay guy. I only like, I said hi and then I went back to what the fuck I was doing. But when I was going talking to my coworkers, I was like, so y'all just gonna believe anything willy nilly? Cause a lot of things, a lot of times I've seen, especially with certain men, and the people that were there, like the, the dudes that were there, a lot of them, you know, they, they like to be like the, oh, I'm tough, I'm this and that, and I'm, I'm you know, I, I like women and I'm dibbling down. You know what I'm saying? They like to have that little fucking vibrato and shit to like, to prove their straightness, to, to assert it as if we really give a fuck. Like, bro, I don't really check, I'm not checking for who you're fucking, what you doing late at 12 o'clock at night i'm in my bed sleeping i'm like nobody's worried about you like that but a lot of these guys feel compelled to do that they feel compelled to express themselves in that way and only in that way for what reason i don't fuck with. but what i didn't feel that was fair because dudes were there kiki laughing oh my god i can't believe that happened but the craziest thing is if that dude if that gay guy said you know, i slept with the other dude or i slept with the other guy that was laughing or whatever the case may be they would have been pissed if it was anybody else but that that guy he was talking about they would have been pissed if it was if it was happening to them and i don't like that hypocritical shit because that got me so upset and it's cut like i said like a lot of these dudes that was in the the whole group kikiing and laughing because this gay guy said the stupid shit if he said that about y'all y'all would want to fight the gay guy y'all would want to beat him up or, you know hurt him or what like you know what i'm saying like a lot of these guys like they're very sensitive when it comes to shit like this so i'm like i don't feel like it's fair for you to be sitting there and taking this man's word out of context as if y'all was there in the whole situation you could have very well be damn fucking lying. And it's just so crazy because like a lot, of, listen, a lot of times, especially when it comes to gay men, uh, some of y'all who are a little bit more messy and y'all don't, and y'all don't learn until y'all really learn and feel it, go around and talk a lot of this mess and it's not cute and it's not funny and it gets a lot of people hurt. Because who's to say that person you're spreading these rumors about? Because at the end of the day, that's all it is. If you cannot prove it, it's just a fucking rumor. And you're spreading lies. So who is to say that person you're spreading all these lies lies about won't retaliate in a violent matter? You don't know people from nowhere. A lot of times people underestimate how crazy a person can really get when you put them in certain situations that they don't want to be in or they never ever want to be in in the first place because this situation can go real left real right real real quick and it's like for like for is it not clicking for some y'all like that dude could, like the dude he could be talking about could be a whole fucking psychopath y'all he could he could put hands on you he may want to take your life you don't know like because a lot of these men take this shit to heart like they like this is their whole honestly some of sometimes their whole fucking personality like they can't take some shit like this and it's like why is it not clicking for some of y'all to understand to leave these niggas alone that's why i be stressing don't don't really fuck with them dl dudes like that because at the end of the day like it ain't, ain't ain't no dick ain't no ass would ever be that that good where it has to be oh it has to be some secret of shit or like you're 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 messing with somebody with all these demons, right? And I'm not trying to say the spiel or whatever the case may be. I'm just saying, you know, examples. Who's like who's to say this person is not going to retaliate in a way that you're not going to expect? Like don't, I don't put shit past nobody, and I'm going to say this again. Whether or not it's a sexuality thing, whether or not it's just a level of mental illness or whatever the case may be, you don't know what people are going through. So on that basis alone, I'm gonna leave your ass the fuck alone. If 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 I know you don't rock like that, or is that, or if that's how you're presenting yourself, I'm going to leave it alone. But a lot of these guys are not understanding that, and it just it was just so, and it's just like they make a lot of, especially gay men look. You know, they, they, they make us look a certain way. Now, granted, 
I'm, if you're not gay, whatever the case may be, you just happen to be watching this video, just understand that discretion is a thing and discernment, people, a lot of people just don't know discernment. You have to understand discernment. It don't matter what demographic you are. You need to be able to look at people on an individual basis. But a lot of people don't do that. And that's why I say you have to use a discernment. Because a lot of people don't do that, unfortunately. But we need to do that. Because shit mess like this happening. Now, I'm going to go to work. And um, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Granted, like, I don't I don't really know. Maybe everybody, it's probably would have just been hush hush. And they just kept it to themselves when they were joking around. I don't know really what happened. So I'm going to go to work. And I'm going to see if <laughs> there's any updates. Hopefully, it's not nothing upsetting that I have to hear. Hopefully these people are mature enough to keep this stupid shit to themselves because this is honestly just like very, very much not giving a mature adult situation. But um I think that's gonna be it for the video. That's I just had to get that up, get it off my chest. Um I was gonna I honestly wasn't even planning on uploading tonight or today, whatever the case may be. But I have a video coming out next week or the week after. I honestly can't tell y'all, but like in between like building my tiny house and I gotta like clean my area up and all that certain stuff. I have to like, there's like a lot of things I got going on right now, but I can, I can really say like by the end of December, I should be back in my house. So I'm happy about that. And um, yeah, that's kind of it for now. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you got something from what I was trying to say, I hope you um, took a little bit from anything that I was really trying to just convey onto y'all because this shit is crazy be careful y'all and be be careful of the company that you keep I will always say that like you're you know what I'm saying if you 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 holding on to shady friends let them motherfuckers go somebody that don't treat you right let them go you gotta be able to put yourself first put put just position yourself around people that are going to do right by you and you're gonna do right for them you know what I'm saying don't put yourself in that like kind of circle. but um that's gonna be it for the video um if you guys are not subscribed subscribe to the channel what the fuck um subscribe to the channel um give the video a like i don't know what else to say but um bye thank you guys for watching